when we produce inventory, when we are a manufacturing company, we typically will be using either a job cost system or a process cost system. And the difference between these two, which one will we use, will typically depend on the type of inventory that we produce. So let's go through the characteristics that will generally be apparent or be present when we use a job cost system. And when we look at these, we wanna compare and contrast the two. When would we use a job cost system? When would we use a process cost system? As we start to work through problems of a job cost system and process cost system, we'll start to see why these characteristics of inventory are gonna be those that will distinguish whether we choose to be a job cost system or a process cost system. For now, just note that a job cost system means that we're gonna apply the cost of the inventory to particular jobs. So we're gonna have a particular job, we're gonna assign the costs to that job, as opposed to a process cost system where we're gonna assign costs to a process as we go. So as we think of this, we're gonna think of the example of custom guitars. Pretty much anything custom that you can think of, you can. that's one type of thing that would basically usually be in a job cost system. So if we get an order for a guitar, it's gonna be a specific type of guitar and we're gonna custom make this guitar uh, in accordance with the order, we would typically use more of a job cost system. It's also something that if you think of custom for like construction and stuff like that, construction jobs are typically gonna be different in nature and therefore we typically use a job cost system. So that's the first characteristic we'll have. If it's a custom order, then we're typically gonna use a job cost system. Now I would use that characteristic in order to then think about the other characteristics as following from it. Meaning if we do some type of manufacturing business that's custom in some way, then the other things are gonna follow from it. If we make custom guitars, if we make if we do any kind of construction, it's gonna be custom to whatever needs to be done, then we're typically gonna be doing a job cost system. Our next characteristic are heterogeneous product, products or services. And that just means that they're different. And the reason I use this word is because sometimes you'll see it in textbooks. So heterogeneous and homogeneous. Heterogeneous being the opposite meaning difference and homogeneous meaning the same. So this of course follows that we can just say, of course, that the types of things we're producing are not all exactly the same. And that follows from the idea that they're, they're custom, they're different in some way. We've got some differences in the production that we have. And because of those differences, we cannot do things like just allocate the costs evenly to whatever we're making. If one guitar we make is a lot more uh, detailed than another guitar we make, then we cannot evenly allocate the costs. And that's gonna be one of the reasons we use a job cost system. If we do a construction job and one happens to be a lot larger than another, then we can't allocate the same cost to those two jobs, or we shouldn't. We should find some other way, and that's why we're gonna use a, a job cost system as opposed to a process cost system. Low production volume. Now, low production volume means that we're, we're not producing as many of the items possibly as in a, in a job cost type of inventory system, meaning if we're making custom guitars, then we're gonna produce far less of them. That's okay because we're gonna charge a higher price for the ones that we produce, as opposed to if we were just stamping out the guitars and they were all the same, then the idea there is that we're gonna have a high volume, less customization. So a job cost system follows from the idea that we're gonna have some differentiation, some customness, and that means that the products are gonna be different in nature, differences in nature of whatever we make, typically would mean that the production volume will be lower. And then we're gonna have uh, pro high product flexibility. Again, that, that's gonna follow from the idea that they're custom. So they're, if, if something's gonna be different uh, in nature, if anything that we're making that's gonna be different, and we might just specialize in, even if we're just specializing guitars, and even if it's fairly limited, if we have the more customization we have within that guitar, the more we're gonna need to, to have a job cost system as opposed to a process cost. If we're in construction, of course, every we might do the same type of construction all the time, but the, the, the jobs that we go to and deal with are typically gonna be different just by the nature of the job. And so we're gonna have to um, uh, have